Hello dear students, uh, I hope that all of you will be having a good time. Uh, I prepared this video to have an easy approach uh, towards learning grammar. The technique which I adopted here is the question answer technique. Uh, I did my level best to include all the frequently asked questions uh, along with answers about verb and its kinds. Uh, I have collected total 36 questions which are written in a proper order. Uh, all the questions are simply asked and simply answered. I hope that you would find this technique easy and interesting. Uh, now I start the questions. Question number one. What is a verb? A verb is a word which shows an action in a sentence. Question 2. Uh, what are the examples of verbs? The examples of verbs are go, take, eat, read, study, walk, etc. Question 3. What is the main verb in a sentence? Answer. The main verb in, a, in the sentence is the important verb. Question number four, what is a helping verb? Answer, a helping verb is the one which helps the main verb to determine the tense. Question number five, uh, what is a regular verb? A regular verb is that verb which takes ed at the end when it is changed into past and past participle forms. For example, play, played, played, add, added, added. Question 6. What are irregular verbs? Answer. An irregular verb is that verb which doesn't take any ed at the end in past or past participle form. I am giving you some examples of irregular verbs, uh, present, past, past participle, uh, for example, feel, felt, felt, speak, spoke, spoken, uh, other uh, are like take, took, taken, uh, built, built, built. So uh, in this case, in irregular verbs, every word is different from the others. Question number seven, uh, what are strong verbs? Uh, strong verbs are the same, irregular verbs. For example, ring, ring, rung, speak, spoke, spoken. They are considered to be both irregular verbs or strong verbs. Uh, number eight, what is an action verb? An action verb is that verb which expresses physical or mental action. Uh, what is a static or stative verb? A static or stative verb is used to describe a state of being or situation. These verbs don't show any physical action or process. Question 10. What is a linking verb? Give three examples. A linking verb is a verb which links a subject with its predicate. The most common linking verbs are forms of the verb to be.
for example is am are was were being been question 11 what is a dynamic verb answer a dynamic verb is a verb which shows a continued or progressive action on the part of the subject for example he is running in the playground running is a dynamic verb because there is movement there is progression question number 12 list all the helping verbs present and definite do does past and definite did the only helping verb uh, future indefinite will or shall uh, present continuous tense is r m past continuous was or future continuous will be shall be a uh, present perfect tense have or has past perfect had future perfect will have or shall have present perfect continuous tense have been or has been past perfect continuous tense have been future perfect continuous tense Uh, will have been or uh, shall have been all these are helping verbs question number 13 what is a model verb list the model verbs answer a model verb is a type of verb which indicates modality such as possibility probability ability capacity permission request suggestion obligation uh, skill etc the following are the modal verbs can could may might ought to must have to had to used to should a need will shall might have would have should have must have could have all these are uh, modal verbs question number 14 what is an infinitive give three examples answer an infinitive is the base form of a verb two plus base form of verb for example two plus fly to fly to cry to know to drive etc question 15 uh, how many kinds of infinitives are there answer there are three kinds of infinitives Question 16 What are their names They are bare infinitives full infinitives split infinitives Question number 17 What is a bare infinitive A bare infinitive is an infinitive without to, such as do, take, drink, etc. Question eighteen: What is a full infinitive? A full infinitive is that is that one which is formed with the help of to, such as to take, to go, to drink, to eat, to wait, etc. Question 19 What is a split infinitive A split infinitive occurs when there is an adverb between parts of an infinitive For example to go 
and when it be put uh, that adverb between two can go it becomes like to boldly go to secretly go to quickly reach to blindly jump etc question number 20 What is the function of an infinitive? Infinitives may function as adjectives, adverbs, or nouns. Question twenty-one: How can we use infinitive as an adjective? Answer: We can use an infinitive after a noun to make it an adjective. Uh, most of the time, we find adjectives before a noun, but here. Uh, in this case of infinitive it should be used after noun for example my friend gave me a book to read so this to read is something to the meaning of book uh, your idea to spend the day together sounds great so the part which is in red color they are adjectives so in other words i can say that the underlying parts are adjective infinitives because these infinitives modify the nouns used before them a uh, book and i do question number 22 uh, how can we use infinitive as a noun uh, we can use an infinitive as a noun when it functions as a subject or an object in a sentence for example to walk is his uh, only exercise here to walk is used as a subject number 2 to wait seemed a waste of time to wait as a subject uh we wanted to go so here uh, to go functions as an object question number 23 how can we use an infinitive as an adverb answer we can use an infinitive as an adverb in the following way for example he turned his face to avoid me as uh, it has been used here as an adverb john came to teach me physics to teach this has been used as an ad uh, adverb In these sentences the infinitives to avoid and to teach tell more about the verbs turned and came Question number 24 What is an infinitive phrase answer An infinitive phrase is an infinitive form of a verb along with a complement or a modifier. For example, he wants to develop a reading habit. Number two, John went to his teacher to learn a new lesson. In these sentences, the infinitive phrases are to develop a reading habit and to learn the new lesson. are question number 25 what is a gerund answer a gerund is a word ending in ing which is made from a verb uh, what is the function of gerunds it functions as a noun question number 27 uh, how many types of gerunds are there answer there are four types of gerund question 
question number 28 name the types of gerund there are four types subject object uh, subject complement object of preposition in other words we can say that uh, a gerund's function is as a subject uh, as an object as a subject complement as an object of preposition question 29 give an example of each type answer a subject as a subject reading is a good habit so reading has been used here as a subject direct object uh, he doesn't like dancing in parties so here dancing is a direct object object of preposition the police arrested him for speeding so speeding comes after for uh, this is a preposition so it can also be used in this case uh, subject complement my favorite hobby is reading books here reading is subject complement it completes the meaning of the subject Question number 30. Uh, what is present participle? Present participle is a word that ends in ing. But it is different from uh, gerund. What is present participle made from? It is made from a verb. Question number 32. In what capacity is participle used? Present participle used? Answer, it is used as an adjective or the main verb or the main verb form in continuous tenses. When it is used before a noun, it functions as an adjective. For example, a reading habit is appreciated by all. A reading habit. So reading comes before habit. Habit is a noun and reading becomes an adjective. In present continuous tense, it is the main verb. For example, he is reading a book. Uh, there are certain verbs after which we use gerunds, the ing form of verbs. Uh, for example, adore. My daughter adores reading Harry Potter's books. So after adores, we use the word reading. Uh, can't stand. I can't stand going to his course. Carry on. Mary carried on watching cartoons. Carried on. Carried on watching cartoons. Watching. Watching has been used after carry on. I don't mind. I don't mind reading that book again. Enjoy. Enjoy is another word after which we will have to use the IT form uh, as a gerund. My friends enjoy pulling my leg. Finish. My parents finished painting my bedroom. Give up. Mike has given up smoking. So after give up, we have to use the word uh, uh, form ing as a gerund. Go on. Arthur went on telling lies. Hate. I hate marking exams. Keep on. They kept on interrupting the teacher. Kept on. Like. My students like studying English. Love. My students love playing computer games. Prefer. I prefer reading to watching TV. So after prefer, we will have to use the ING form uh, of verb. Uh, that is as a gem. Question 33. What is a transitive verb? A transitive verb is a verb that takes one or more objects. For example, uh, he is saying a song. Song is an object. 
Uh, he gave me an apple. There are two objects in this sentence. Me and apple. Uh, me is indirect object. Apple is a direct object. Uh, question 34. What is an intransitive verb? An intransitive verb is a verb which doesn't allow any object. For example, he walks fast. There is no object in this sentence. Question number 35. What is a verb phrase? Answer. A verb phrase consists of an auxiliary or a helping verb and a main verb. The helping verb always precedes the main verb. For example, the he was reading a magazine. Was reading. Both combined together make a verb phrase uh, next example is she will go to watch the movie will go this is a phrase question number 36 what is a gerund phrase answer a gerund phrase is a phrase which includes a gerund plus any modifier or complement uh, it always functions as a noun. Walking is good, but walking in the rain is always enjoyable. Now walking is just a gerund, only gerund, one word. But walking in the rain is a phrase, gerundial phrase or gerund phrase. Uh, dear students, I hope that you would have learned a lot from this uh, uh, simple technique of questions and answers. Thank you very much. Goodbye.